Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit of a haul video showing you guys some of my recent purchases. I did go on vacation for a week so I did have a couple of days shopping and I also bought like I think one or two items prior to that trip as well so I will include those in the video. Um, but if you are interested in some of the stuff I'm showing please do stay tuned. And just for full disclosure I do currently work for Coach as a sales associate however all the bags on my channel are for my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags and um if you do like today's video please do consider liking and subscribing and you can also follow me on instagram too for more handbag related content and other stuff so the first item is a cute little notebook and it is this one here from the latest floral collection coach i feel like always does a floral print regardless of what season it is and for spring it looks like they've decided to do a really intense full-on like floral like print um it's really intense with all the really pretty colors of the flowers with the coral here and then like the purple some pops of yellow and I also love slight glitter detailing too throughout the print which is really beautiful um it is fully embossed into the leather so when you do feel it you can see the highs and lows of the design and I think it is so cute and even says coach there on one of the flowers as well in a slight cursive detailing um the retail ones have a turn lock i think the outlets have a little press stud um but this one has a little turn lock here and it comes with a notebook as well and it has a little sleeve here on the back where your notebook is inserted but it's super cute and i just love this design so much and i'm super excited to start using it Next is a little card case, and this is the Bandit card case in black with silver hardware. And I've been really looking for like this specific card case style that is a like um, flap closure like this. But what made me really like drawn to this design was the fact that the back here has actually three credit card slots. So it's one, two, three little pockets here in the back, and it makes it really convenient. Um, for you just to put your cards in and then you don't really have to open this one all the time um so i really like that a lot too traditionally i feel like coach will just have like one pocket so the extra two pockets is really cool i love the little c hardware this will go great with some of my other bandit bags and definitely the smaller bandit crossbody of black this will be a cute set and i also love the inside as well being in that like slight burnt orange color it has a little slip pocket there and it also says um genuine full grain leather too which is what's the leather of this card case is made of and a majority of the bandit bags as well so super cute the last item from coach is going to be the raya backpack in the color chalk with brass hardware and this is the raya backpack 21 so it's the smaller option between the two and i bought this bag because i'm going to actually cut off the crossbody now i'm going to cut off the backpack straps so it comes with like these straps here but i personally don't like them so i'm just gonna cut them off and i'm just gonna use a small seam ripper just to undo these stitches here and take off the straps completely and then what i'm gonna do is just add on a longer chain crossbody like the dinky chain strap and carry it as a um like crossbody bag or a messenger bag just because i find that is going to be more practical with my lifestyle i love the shape and silhouette of this bag i love the overall like look of the backpack drawstring design but i just don't like the fact that it actually is a backpack so i'm going to just go ahead and remove these straps plus they don't really fit me the best either even at the longest length i feel like they sit a little bit too high um on my back and it's just not very comfortable because i feel like i have more broad shoulders so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut these off and do a separate video showing that um and yeah excited to see how this looks as a crossbody i did do a little bit of a test run with this bag as like a crossbody bag and i feel like it's going to be fine um so excited to do some handbag chopping so the first store that we went to was long shop and originally i wasn't like sure on going to the store just because like we were on a time crunch and it just wasn't a store on my list of like places to check out however my friend really wanted to go and get a bag so i just went with her and we were passing it anyways so we went in and i just was really like intrigued by all the products like all this stuff is really super duper cute um and i feel like i've only seen like longchamp product in 
like a Nordstrom's or something and sometimes they're not like displayed the best so I wasn't like that interested but at the Longchamp store they looked super cute how they were merchandised and um that really got me so I did purchase a couple of items and the first thing was this really cute little coin pouch and this is I think their standard model um so it's just a little coin pouch here and it has the I think the I think it's like the name of like the product embossed on the back I can't pronounce it because it's French so not gonna try um but it's a super duper cute it's in this like khaki olive color I don't know the like specific name for this color of the nylon um but super cute has a little presto closure here and then the inside is lined in a like um white material which I'm assuming is just the opposite side of the nylon super duper cute and I just thought this is like a fun little SLG kind of like a mini makeup bag um, for my smaller totes and stuff so I thought this was super cute and it would be maybe a good alternative for the Kate Spade nylon pouch I always use so love this little one a lot um I believe this actually comes in two versions but I'm not sure if they're the exact same like name but it's like concept wise they're about the same this one has a flap going over the zipper here the other one is more of a little an illusion so the other version they kind of just like cut this flap in half and just stitched it to the front here so it looks like it's folded over but it's not and that zipper is exposed so it's a lot easier to get in and out of i just went with this one because i like the look of the like little pouch like this and i don't know i just thought it was super cute so there's that the next item is super bright but it is this yellow pouch and i'm not going to show it too long just because i feel like it's distorting the color of the camera um, but it is a yellow nylon pouch super simple it has a zip closure on front here and again the inside is white um but it did come with this little booklet and here's what it looks like on the inside and i just bought this because i love the yellow color and it corresponds really well with the last bag i'm going to show um but it's a really fun you know nylon pouch and it's a good like medium size too it's not too wide either so it does fit in a lot uh, more narrow bags plus it's nylon so it's really like soft and pliable and i just love this bright lemon yellow color so super cute so the next item is this cute little pouch here and this one i did not get on sale this is a part of their current collection so it was full price the little pouches here that i got these were both 20 percent off so i did get some savings there um but this one i just paid full price for it um i saw it on tiktok a little bit before i went to the store and people were talking about like punching holes in here and turning it into a crossbody bag i thought this was a cute idea so i was like wow i'll get this pouch too and do the exact same thing um so i'm gonna see how that goes but i think this would be like a really cute little crossbody bag just because it has a top handle and like a little flap here and it is actually a very spacious little pouch and like i mentioned earlier because it is nylon it's just a really soft supple material so i feel like you can definitely put a little bit of like more stuff in here like kind of like maybe overstuff it a little bit just because the nylon material will give um but it is super duper cute and this one instead of being lined in like the um white like the opposite material of the nylon in these two pieces this one will be lined in black so it won't show so much wear over time the last item from longchamp that i got is actually a tote bag and i finally have a I can't, I can never pronounce it, a Le Pliage tote, and it is this one here. This is in the color Cactus with um, blue detailing, and I don't know the exact name of this blue, but I know the color of this bag is in, like, Cactus, and I just love this green color so much. Um, at the store, they had them, like, all folded up, so this bag originally was, like, folded up and, like, hung on a wall, and I was like, wow, look at all those fun colors, um, and for some reason, this green really stuck out, and I love it so much. Um, and I bought the version that has like the really longer straps that's really comfortable to carry over the shoulder and I'm just really happy I purchased one of these. Um, one of my handbag friends, Julie from Ancient Bag Reviews, she has a ton of these bags and they're always so cute. Um, and I don't know, it's just like a really fun little tote bag and I just like the idea that they can fold up, you know, so it's always fun to like fold one up and just like put it in your suitcase just for traveling um just because you never know if you want to need a tote bag or just like a bag that's good for like rainy days um which is what i'll be using this bag for and yeah i just think it's such a fun bright green color and spring and summer is around the corner so it'll be really cute plus i think this notebook and the green color looks so good together so love it a lot 
the next store we went to was Prada and I was really excited for that one just because the Prada store looked huge on the outside and when we walked in it was also huge on the inside. Um, they had a really cool assortment of men's items in the intro like introduction area. In like the entrance area like you, when you turn there was like the men's section then it was like the women's handbags and then the other section near kind of like the back of the store was like all this ready to wear and shoes and I was like wow look at all this clothing um and a lot of the pieces were really beautifully made I didn't look at um a ton of them but some of the like more delicate items had like crystal embellishments or really heavy detailing that looked really beautiful and then I went to Mew Mew and that's the item that I got and the Mew Mew stuff was really cute there was like a ton of SLGs some really fun like printed items and one of them is this cute little tote bag so this little tote bag is super duper cute. Um, it has two top handles and then a longer crossbody strap as well. It is in a fabric material. It's kind of like nylon-esque, but not really. It's like not as shiny as like a seatbelt. It's a little more matte, um, but it's really soft and comfortable. And I will say the strap here, I feel like is a little bit shorter. So I'm going to go ahead and um change out the bag strap and maybe use this on a different bag but for me i wanted this more as a crossbody so i do have a chain strap that i'm going to try with it and then also another coach bag strap as well and i'm going to go ahead and substitute out this bag strap here but i do appreciate that it does have an area for like a crossbody um but like i said it has two top handles here and it has little snaps on the sides so you can make the design of the bag a little different so if you open it you can obviously put more items in or keep it cinched in like so um and it says mew mew here on the front in silver hardware and then also has four feet on the bottom as well which i think is really awesome for a fabric bag helps keep the bag clean by just setting on the little feet the inside of the bag is lined in a black fabric material and it has two pockets so it has a little zip pocket here on the back and it reaches all the way to like the bottom of the bag and on the side there is a cute little magnetic pocket and i just have the care instructions tucked away in there but there is that um but other than that it's a very simple and spacious inside um like tote interior so you put all your items in there and if you're curious to a little like notebook like this will easily fit inside of the tote bag um and i will say because the lining of this bag is black i'm definitely going to use more bright color slgs just so i can easily spot them um so there is like the floral notebook in there is like really cool um but i think this bag would be super cute for summer it's super lightweight because it's fabric and I love the little handles too. Um, I also have been kind of looking on the pre-loved market at this like handbag design. I think Prada makes one that is very similar to this, but it just has like the larger Prada logo on here and the canvas material I believe is a little different. Um, but at Mew Mew, it had, they had this one here in the very similar silhouette. I love this like kind of abstract floral print. Um, they had this blue color and then like a pink as well. I went ahead and got the blue one just because I think the pastel blue here with the white and the black accents on the floral looks really good together and I think this would be really cute with jeans and other like fun pastel color clothing as well. So I love this a lot. And the last bag in today's video is definitely an influence purchase. Um, I watched Minx Sprawl and she also did a haul at the Cabazon outlets as well and she went to this really cool store and I also went to this really cool store and I found the bag that she had in her video and I purchased it and it is this bag right here which is the Louis Bay basket bag in the color lemon yellow um, and it's just super duper cute and it's a very minimal design as you can see there's not a ton of detailing or hardware to it um, but it is just so darn cute I love the yellow for the handles and the branding here on the front. Um, and I just think that's a really classic design from Loewe, but this one just so happens to be in a fun pop of yellow. And I just love this color so much. And I will say I have already used this bag and I do like it a lot. It's super duper lightweight, um, but surprisingly very sturdy. I originally was a little bit scared of this bag just because it is like in a straw material but it is very durable and I used it like I believe two times and I really enjoyed it and it's a very open spacious bag but I did like how they 
um, style it at the store. So in their display, they had it paired with this really cute drawstring pouch. And I have one here in this like fun green color and the green and the yellow really goes together. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is use this as a pouch to hold my wallet, car keys, and other personal items in here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and close the drawstring and just have a little pouch just like nestled in there like so. And then I also bought this cute little yellow pouch from Longchamp and that will go in there. And I think it'll be really fun just to have those cute little SLGs like poking out of the tote bag, kind of like so. And I think it'd be really cute. Obviously much prettier once it is full of items, not just kind of like empty like this. Um, but I think it'll be super duper cute and yeah. So much fun. Um, and I also have this strap adjusted to the shortest setting. Originally, I think they had it at the longest length, but I just did love the way that looked. So I made it shorter and am planning on carrying it more as a top handle. And that does it for today's video over my recent purchases. If you guys have any more questions about the items I've shown in today's video, please do um, leave a comment and I will try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can try to help you out that way. Um, but if you did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!